I've got 10 reasons that you shouldn't buy the Dell Inspiron 3493. Let's get started. To the B-roll. Number one, it's got cheap plastic everywhere. The hinges, the body, everything is just really cheap plastic and you can feel that. Number two, it does not have a full HD screen or IPS display. So the viewing angles on it kind of suck and it just feels cheap. Also, if you ever try to remote desktop to anything that is set up to be using a full HD uh, resolution, then it just won't fit completely on the screen. You have to scale it and it becomes very difficult to be able to read things. Number three, there's no backlight on the keyboard. Number four, it uses the smaller power plug instead of the standard larger uh, power plug that most business Dells use that are a lot cheaper and easier to find laying around. So if you lose the original one, then chances are you probably won't have a spare laying around from another old Dell laying around. So number five is that it only has a 128 gigabyte SSD, although it is an NVMe SSD, which is really fast, and only four gigs of RAM. But at the price point of around $300, it's kind of hard to expect more when purchasing a brand new machine. Number six, it does not have a dedicated NVIDIA or ATI GPU. It just has the built-in Iris Pro GPU that's part of the 10th gen i-series CPU. If you plan on more graphics intensive uses such as gaming and CAD design and other things like that, then this might not have just enough punch to be able to deliver the performance that you're looking for. But again, at this price point, it's hard to find something that will. Number seven. The SD card slot doesn't allow you to be able to take the SD card and completely put it inside of the laptop. It actually sticks out a little bit. Number eight, building off of that, is that in the event that the SD card is sticking out and somebody were to walk by, it could fall off the table that it's sitting on and get damaged. Number nine, this thing only has fast ethernet built in. I mean, come on, it's 2020. No gigabit ethernet? Dell, what the heck are you thinking? Seriously. I've had older business laptops from Dell that are like second generation i-series that have gigabit ethernet. It's not a new thing. It's been around for a very, very long time. Come on. And number 10, it does not have Wi-Fi 6. But honestly, at this price point, I wouldn't really expect it, but you can upgrade to it because I'm doing it. 